So Greenlee won't tell you what's going on? No, she won't. But it's ridiculous. I mean, come on. She tells Bianca that she's moving out. She's not wearing her wedding ring anymore. And, and all of a sudden, her and David are, are back together again, just like that? I don't know. They're, they're just acting like everything's OK? David is acting like everything's OK. There's something going on with Greenlee. I don't know what it is. And she, I ha it was so close to her finally telling me that then all of a sudden, my head started acting up again. Right. OK, Ryan. Right. And else. why should I care about any of this? I have a life away from here. And. All the things I heard about Greenlee, I mean, what she did to, to my company and my mother. That was David, okay? I, I have never been more sure of that than, than ever. No, Greenlee still makes her own decisions. David is poison, Kendall. You and I both know that. Okay, yes, I know that, but I still don't understand what you want me to do. I want you to talk to her. I, I want you to get her to try and open up. Ryan, Greenlee still hates me. She hates me for, for sleeping with you and for lying about her accident. What makes you think she'll even talk to me, let alone open up? What is that? That's Jake. Was that Jake? supposed to be four at the end of three? Is that Jake? Hello? Hello? Hi. I'm good. Well, I did not expect wait, to see well, hold you. on a second. Wait, yes, I'm here. What was that? Was that like your little secret knock thing? Yeah. yeah. That's very fifth grade of you, really. <laughs> well, don't try it till you've knocked it. No, that's bad. <laughs> That's bad. Yeah, you know, we well, do it so that we I don't do have to be bad. unconscious all, all the time. That's why I, so I know it's him coming in. Okay. Will you help? Help? I don't know. I don't know. But first of all, this whole getting way too involved in other people's business thing, this is exactly why Zach wanted us to stay away. I'm asking you to try and help a friend who's, who could be in serious trouble here. That's what I'm asking. Okay, a friend who probably deserves what she gets and who wants nothing to do with me. Yeah, well, that's pretty much been your relationship from the very beginning, right? You guys hurt each other, but you won't let anybody else do it. That's true. She's in trouble here. She wants out of this marriage. I'm sure she wants out of it, but for some reason, she's stuck. I don't know why. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not buying it, Ryan. Greenlee is not exactly a wimp. No, she's not. But but neither was Amanda, right? Or, or Crystal, or Dixie, or any other woman that David has taken advantage of. Greenlee's convinced that she can take on this guy by herself, and she is wrong. She needs our help. Thank you very much. Ryan's going to be well taken care of. I'll see you to it personally. Do me a favor. I've accepted the terms of your deal, but don't act like you care whether Ryan lives or dies. I already told you I do care. Because if anything ever happened to Ryan, I know that you would never forgive me. And I'm already holding out hope that you're going to forgive my blackmail. So I'll tell you what. How about this time? You don't sneak around, make excuses. If you want to see Ryan, why don't you just tell me? I can do that. In fact, I'll prove it right now. I'm going to see Ryan. Perfect timing. I just saw my way to the hospital. Hey, Art, please don't do this. I'm here to fix my marriage. Marissa never showed. Oh, well, well, that doesn't mean... I asked her to have my baby, and she looked at me like I smacked her across the face. And now my company is sitting on a house of cards thanks to Scott. I should be running back to Pine Valley, but all I want... All I can think about is grabbing you and throwing you on that bed. You know how I found Uncle Palmer's journal? I was trashing the place because I was so pissed I couldn't get you out of my head. It doesn't matter what is in your head, okay? Look at us. We finally did what we've been trying to do for months. We're, we're putting our family and, and our company before ourselves. Well, look where that got us. I'm getting married. I am happy, okay? And no, it's not always easy, but look at us. We're here. We're here instead of messing around in that bedroom. I mean, I mean it counts for something. You know, if I wanted to, I could drive Scott right out of your life. And then we would both end up with nothing. Is that what you want? You should go. What do I tell Scott? Tell him. Tell him that he's a lucky man.
No, no, just... What are you gonna do if you go back there? I don't know, I'll figure it out. No. One, you shouldn't be driving, not in the state that you're in, and two, to go back, so you can put yourself through this all over again, why? It almost killed me, I swear to God, seeing Annie's hands on Jared's face. Okay, just... Annie took a phone call. She said that she needed to go take care of something. Just, what, what did you see exactly, Marissa? What? I mean, Annie and JR, what? Were they, were they, were they kissing? What? Worse. Worse. They were close, you know? Like this. And they were just staring into each other's eyes like they were the last people left in this world. Jair's never looked at me like that before. Has Annie? You're so good, Scott. I'm sorry you don't deserve this. Neither do you.